Hey guys, it's been such a long time. I'm so happy to see you. I have missed you. Um, I am here because I promised you guys over a year ago. However, a promise is still a promise. I promised you guys that I would do a giveaway. And so, um, this box is full of the items that I'm going to be giving away. Um, to whomever wins, good luck. But I just felt like when you start nursing school, you don't really realize how expensive it is and how time consuming um, it is. So, you know, I finished school, I got my license, I started working, and I wanted to do something special for someone. And I had been saving these items and collecting items. So I bought a bunch of stuff, like it's ridiculous. I think I'm gonna, I, it was too much to even fit in this one box. So I think I'm gonna have to end up doing two giveaways, one now and maybe one in a few months because it was just too much for this one box. And, um, but I, I, you know, I'm just so grateful because you guys supported me and even when I wasn't making videos, you would still send me messages and you know, ask me how I was doing and follow me on Instagram and, you know, you just, you know, encourage me a lot. So, I want to give somebody this box. So, I'm going to show you now what's in the box, okay? Alright. So, I have some dry erase markers. I have some labels. These called paper clips. I don't know why I couldn't think of them. Hand sanitizer. A little. This is good for your um, clinicals because it's plastic. You can wipe it off. Some sticky notes. A dry erase board for all those dosage calculations. Now I purchased two different. Um, these called pencil cases because this one is good for like if you like those felt tent tip pens because they um, tend to uh, ruin your regular pencil case so this is good if you like those calculator some color pencils another thing I would suggest if you're having the reason I bought these but I couldn't find it in the store but uh, when I was taking anatomy and physiology, I found this uh, anatomy and physiology coloring book. And this these color pencils will really help you if you take your notes and you color coordinate them. Or you like use the red and draw the heart and then draw the fl flow of the oxygenated blood and, and the de deoxygenated blood. Like you like you can do it, illustrate everything. And I feel like sometimes when you see... Um, you see the information in different colors in different ways you kind of remember so that's why I got these um, a first aid kit you always need a first aid kit if I have one in my car I have one in my desk at work I have one in my clinical bag I have one in my school bag you always need a first aid kit a stapler you always need a stapler another thing I learned the hard way in school always 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 staple your papers together especially your assignments, but always make copies. Make copies because teachers lose stuff, the school loses stuff, and then you're stuck like, I turned it in. Like, no, you didn't. So, I got you a box of tissue for the times that you want to cry and you want to give up and you no longer want to be a nurse no more. But um, just use the tissues, dry your tears, and start over. If you fail a test, start over. If you fail a class, start over. If you have a bad day at clinicals and you break down crying, start over. There are going to be some things that you see, do, and hear in nursing school. And your limits are going to be pushed, but do not give up. I got you some tabs, some binder clips. I found this cute little set. It's like um, the binder clips, the little flags. Okay, but this is small enough for your, you know, your bag. Some pencil sharpener, some index cards, some pens, some highlighters. I 
look at you in the mirror so you can remember how beautiful you are even when it's six o'clock in the morning and you're rushing out the door and you don't feel beautiful but you are you're special you're important you're going to deal with people and things that make you feel um less than you really are and you don't you don't understand yet but you do with certain patients and certain family members that make students feel really stupid and you deal with some professors too and some teachers so and you deal with some life issues you do i've seen a lot of relationships break up in school because it's very time consuming you have people who are jealous you have people who don't know how to handle your growth like what you just mirror because you have to see your growth and you have to know how valuable you are and you have to look at yourself every single day and say i am beautiful i am valuable and i'm gonna make it in jesus name so anyway um i bought this little binder this binder is really good if you know this is what i would do so you see how you have your index cards oh sorry see how you have your index cards what i would do is i would put the index cards like in um i forget what it's called in that plastic and put it in here because by the end of your you know your schooling you should know if you're in an lpn program you should know at least 100 medications so it's good that as you go along keep your medications together read them study them learn them so a day planner i live by my day planner I found this clipboard, which is really good for clinicals because it's plastic. You can wipe it off. It covers your information. So, HIPAA. Some dividers. This is another calendar. If you would like me to do a video on how I stay organized and how I maintain um, a good GPA. I think I had a 3.6 when I graduated. And that was with work, school, my daughter, and a part-time job. So, if you want to know about that. Here it is. Um, this is another pencil case just because it's pretty and it can go on your side your binder. These are some folders. And you got this for if you're a mom. This is like a um or you if you're a single person, but it goes in your refrigerator and you write out everything and you just put these up. So that's pretty much it for this box. Thank you so much for watching my video. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, I think I already said how you have to enter, but if I didn't remember, follow me on Instagram, nurse underscore pineapple. Then come back to this video and comment your Instagram name. Make sure you like the video. And also, um, and then I guess I'll just pick a random person and send it out. Alright, thanks guys. Congratulations to anybody who didn't win but congratulations on starting nursing school or going back to school um i hope all is well i'll see you in my next video